Hey guys, it's MJ, and in this video, we're looking at everything wrong with Reality Clash. Now, please go and check out my disclaimer video on my channel before continuing. But what we're going to be looking at is Reality Clash, which is kind of like an augmented reality game, very similar to Ingress. I mean, they've even used the same color scheme as Ingress. And the team is quite, quite impressive. I mean, they've got quite a lot of experience, 20 years working on some big titles, some screenshots from the potential game makes it look awesome and they do mention their technology and it looks great. I think this is definitely a game that I would play but it's not something I'm going to be investing in because while reading through it I kept asking myself why do they need to do an initial coin offering and why on earth do they even need the blockchain for this thing and what we're going to be doing is just looking for some red flags and the first red flag was when we go to the pre-sale. So the IC only starts tomorrow, but already you can invest in the pre-sale. That's 50 Ethereum or 50 Ether, which is 15,000 US dollars at a price of 300 Ether. And 15,000 US dollars is absolutely huge for a pre-sale. And I'm gonna give it a red flag and I'll tell you why, because when you read a little bit lower, this is what it says. Pre-sale investors, so they are considering us to be investors, except that the final terms of the actual sale are not yet available. Would you, would you invest 15,000 US dollars into a sale where the final terms have not been determined yet? That, that, I mean, just on that you should walk away. But don't worry guys, it gets better. It gets better. If you do this pre-sale, of which there are 50 million of these coins. So half of the, the total coins are going to be available for this pre-sale. But you can get a bonus 50%. And that, that's a, oh, it's a big pet hate of mine when they have a bonus coin. Because that is such a clear indication that you're buying a virtual product and not a virtual investment. Because in order to have 50%, they are so overvaluing this thing in order for it to still be profitable for them. So the fact that there's the bonus is insane. And the fact that the ICO token, you know, 30% for the early comers, then going to 10%. Again, I'm, I'm giving two red flags because these bonuses are so high. And essentially what you're doing as an ICO member is you're just funding the returns of the pre-sale people. So you either engage in the pre-sale or you leave this thing alone. But if you go into this pre-sale, you need to drop 15,000 US dollars where the final terms aren't even set. So this, I don't like the structure. Bonus coins, it's ridiculous. Okay, but then I thought, let me go through the white paper. And the white paper starts off with the statement, Reality Clash Token Sale, the world's first augmented reality mobile game available on iPhone and Android. And when your white paper starts with a lie, because it is a lie, that's a red flag. And the reason why it's a lie is because they're not the first augmented reality mobile game. And how do we know that? Because later, in their own white paper, they compare themselves to other augmented reality games. In fact, they even use the whole Pokemon Go thing as a reason why their app is going to be successful. So after discussing these other augmented reality, clash, uh, reality games, why are they saying that this is the world's first augmented reality mobile game available on iPhone and Android? Now, I don't want to be super picky, but also worlds, they're miss missing the apostrophe. But another thing that gets to me is that they're going to say that this game is available on iPhone and Android. And they even have a little quote by Tim Cook saying augmented reality will be bigger than virtual reality. But what they don't tell you is that this app will not be on the App Store. If they're using blockchain technology, they are an unverified virtual currency, and Google, uh, what you call it, sorry, Apple will not allow them. I think this goes against guideline 3.15 of the App Store, which they clearly have not read, or if they have, they are misleading people because they should be stating that they will not, or with extreme difficulty, get onto the App Store. So sorry for you, Apple users. Okay, next is that this thing is only gonna, they're only seeing their soft launch, so the first like MVP in one year's time. In one year's time, that is, that is a long time to wait for an investment in this crypto space. 
if you're putting 15,000 US dollars into a game and you have to wait a whole year before it does anything to see if it even works, you're probably better off with putting it into Bitcoin. I don't think this investment can beat Bitcoin. And also, I mean, output full launch RCs. I mean, that's, that's another spelling mistake. And I'm giving a red flag because the entire white paper felt rushed. There were pages that were duplicated. It seemed like this was put together by someone late at night with no effort at all. And I mean, speaking of no effort at all, look at their budget. This is the laziest budget I've ever seen. And like I said, if you're putting 15,000 US dollars into a company and their budget was 70% this, 20% this, 10% that, I'm throwing down the red flag. You know, at, at, at this level, we need to be seeing what are the salaries going to be? What is that 70%? You know, what licenses are they paying? What are the various courses of action they're taking? How have they budgeted this, 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 and that? What are the various scenarios? You know, we need more detail. That looks like it's been thumb sucked in literally 10 seconds. But don't worry, the funding gets even better. And this is why, this is a clear indication that there was no financial person involved in this entire project. Because listen here, Reality Gaming Group will be raising a minimum of 1.5 million through an ICO token sale. Okay, 1.5 million. That's, that's quite low for an ICO. It's, it's quite low. Um, but maybe they don't need that much money to, to make the game. Okay? What, what is their, what's their cap going to be? Well, they want a minimum of 1.5 million. We see in their, in their website that they're going to be making 100 million coins. That, that, that's the limit. There's going to be only 100 million coins and that these coins are valued at 30 cents, which means that they have a maximum potential of raising 30 million US dollars. Now, a minimum of 1.5 million, but a maximum of 30 million, that is a massive red flag to seeing a 20 times gap. I mean, because you have to ask yourself the question, can they make the game with 1.5 million? And the answer has to be yes, because if the answer was no, then if by them raising more than 1.5 million, they say 1.5 million and one dollar, and they can't meet all expenses, then that is terribly irresponsible because the project will fail and the people who invested in the ICO will lose all their money, which goes against the whole ethics and everything of an ICO that you invest till you get to a certain limit. So if you don't get that limit, people get refunded. So by them having such a low target, it's almost like they're, they're saying, we want to get whatever we can. Because if they can make the game with 1.5 million, which they should be able to do, they should be able to do, otherwise very dodgy, what will they then do if they had to get 30 million US dollars? What would they do? Are they going to go buy a fancy yachts? Are they going to buy the latest Lamborghini? Because nowhere in their white paper do they say, you know, if we hit these certain targets, we can reduce the, the deadline dates. Or oh, if we get, you know, over 20 million, we're going to introduce extra cities or we'll launch um, extra features. Nothing. They're silent. So they're basically saying that they could pocket that money themselves. It is, that is very, very dodge. But the thing is, they, they keep referring to this as an investment. They talk about invest info. And one of the things that you'll get as an investor is an exclusive founder's medal. And I'm sorry, that is, that is a joke. That is a joke. That, and the investor info, they're not talking about potential returns, any mention of risks, nothing. And the investor info, you get an exclusive founder's medal. And then also, you can partake in the purchasing of these exclusive weapons that are only available for the ICO token sale. And I mean, this kind of feels like a pay-to-win game, which now I'm no longer even interested in playing this game. Um, but what really freaks me out is that they're not putting any prices towards these, these tokens. They haven't told you anything. And this is a big red flag because if you're going in as the ICO and you purchase, say, $100 worth of these coins and you come to the market on the 1st of November, you're coming against guys who have spent $15,000 on this game. They're coming, and if there's only going to be a limited number of these guns, do you think your $100 is going to be able to get you one? Well, we don't know. We don't know what the price is. We don't know how many of these things they're going to be. There's hardly any information, and that freaks me out as a potential investor. But I think best of all, best of all, is that there's not even going to be a limited supply of tokens. You're going to have your gold, 
And once the game launches, they're introducing silver. So you can pre-purchase all these tokens. Think, yeah, I've got a good, you know, of this limited supply. Rubbish. Rubbish. Because when the game launches, they're going to be introducing another currency, which they're going to be selling for another dollar. And I'm just thinking this is a money-making scheme. This entire game is driven by profit and not by the technology. And that's really upsetting because the video did look cool. It did look like it had potential. But this introduction of the silver currency, it just destroys all credibility of this thing. And it ruins the whole thing because the whole idea would that be that this gold would be this virtual currency that only you who protect in the ICO could engage in the game. You could then sell it at a later stage for more money. Yay. But if they're selling it at silver, not only do they cap the maximum return that you can get, but they dilute the market and people are rather going to be buying the silver from them than from you. And it's just, oh, uh, it's just this. This is not an investment. This, this is not an investment. Stay away from this ICO because at the end of the day, this is just a pre-sale of a game that hasn't been made yet. There's no guarantees that this game will even be made. And I would actually advise just, just stay away. Just stay away. Maybe download the game when it comes out next year, which will probably be, be delayed, but it's not worth it. Look, if you are interested and you want to maybe investigate this thing a little bit more, I have written a book around how you value initial coin offerings, where I've got you know lots and lots of various questions that you should be asking to raise certain red flags. The book is available on Amazon. The link will be in the description below, so feel free to, to get yourself a copy of that. But otherwise, come join me in the comment section below. Maybe this game is amazing. Maybe this is going to be the next big thing. Tell me why I'm wrong. Let's start this discussion. Let's, let's hear different opinions. And let me know what ICO you want me to do next. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. And cheers.